Alright guys, what's going on? My name is Christian and welcome to another video. Before I get started, as always, let's aim for like 200 likes. If we could hit 200 likes, that'd be absolutely incredible. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this content and uh, just leave a comment in the comment section below. So anyway, this story takes place not too long ago, and uh, we'll start it out by saying I was spending the night at my friend's house, right? So I live with my mom in an apartment, and my brother lives in an apartment that's pretty much nearby mine. It's actually in the same complex. It's uh, about like a two-minute walk to get there or something. It's like really quick, and uh, my fr I was at my friend's house, of course, right? And so my friend takes me home, and I'm expecting my mom to be home, right? So I knock on the door and kind of just like wait there, you know, for about 30 seconds. And then I try to, you know, kind of open it a little bit because sometimes she'll just put a post in front of the door that you actually just have to like jiggle it like two times to get it to open. Uh, but on this particular occasion, she had locked the door, meaning that she was gone. And I knew this like right away and I was just like, oh shit. So I tried calling her right and I tried calling her and I called her about two different times and she still didn't pick up. And at this point, it was just cold as balls out. Like it was terrible. And so me and my brother have this thing that if I ever can't get into my apartment or I ever need a place to stay or something my brother's apartment is always open right so he lives with his girlfriend and everything so I go across the way and I get to his apartment and I knock on the door right I wait there for about a minute and then I knock again and still no answer right so I get the spare key because he has the spare key hidden in pretty a pretty good location and so I get it I open the door assuming he's not home because you know if he's ever not home I'm allowed to just kind of go in and sit there and you know watch TV as long as I don't go through any of his shit so I get the key you know open it up I go in there and I grab a glass of water right because I'm pretty thirsty and I kind of just sit down and start watching Sports Center, right? Because that's pretty much all I watch, you know, these days. And I connected to his Wi-Fi, and I think I even started watching YouTube videos once I got bored. And I want to say about 30 minutes of like just kind of watching Sports Center slash YouTube videos and stuff. I hear a door open, right? So I'm sitting there, and I, I wasn't sure if I heard it at first, but then I paused my YouTube video, and then I heard someone walking down the thing, right? And I just hear this loud moaning, and I'm like, what the hell? And so I kind of look back, and about like two seconds later, my brother just walks by, right, with his girlfriend mounted onto him, right, just hanging onto him like a monkey or like one of those babies that are like on a, a mom's stomach, you know, those really whack looking uh, uh, baby holders that are on the front side. And then he sees me, and he's like, Christian, what the fuck are you doing here? And I'm just like, oh my god, dude. Like, I, I, you, I didn't think you guys were home. Like, I, I knocked twice. I opened the door. And so his girlfriend jumped off of him like a little spider monkey, right? She ran back to the bedroom. And he's just sitting there. Kind of goes around the corner so all I could see is, fa is his face. And he's like, why didn't you call before? And I was like, dude, it's like, it's freezing out. And I just thought I'd knock on the door. He's like, seriously? And so I'm pretty much just scarred, right? Because this girl that he's, you know, been dating for a really long time is basically just like my sister. Like, that's kind of just how it is. And so seeing the two of them going at it was just the most disgusting thing ever. And he's just like, all right, seriously, just like, just get the fuck out, okay? If mom's not back in like 30 minutes, you can come back. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? It's freezing out. He's like, I don't know. I'm like in the middle of sex right now, so you need to go. And so I'm just sitting there, like, half laughing because, I don't know, it's kind of funny. And half like, oh my god, what the fuck did I just see? Like, I need to freaking pour bleach in my eyeballs, right? And so I leave the thing, and he's like, put the spare key back. I was like, yeah, I will. And then I ended up walking back, and I had to just sit on the bench outside my apartment until my mom got back, which was like about 45 minutes to an hour. And I could connect to my Wi-Fi, so I could still watch, like, YouTube videos, but I was still stuck there in the freezing cold, and that was just terrible. Like, that sucks so bad. Uh, but it wasn't as bad as seeing my brother uh, with his girlfriend, mounted on top of him so anyway guys if you enjoyed this story please do hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more stuff like that and i love you guys so much and i will see you tomorrow peace guys